we're still seeing those above average temperatures throughout the upper peninsula. As you can see yesterday, we topped that at 61 degrees. Our low was 53, so 15 degrees above average, especially for that morning low, only three off on the high. But as we look at the nowhere near records of 76 and 21 respectively, and the days are now down, uh, down to 11 hours and 26 minutes. As we look at today's highs, today's highs have rebounded somewhat into those upper 60s to low 70s. 68 in Marquette, 68 in Houghton, 73 in Munising, 67 in Ontonagon. A little bit more cooler towards the west, and that's mostly due because the cloud cover and the rain is starting to march in first, while towards Munising, they've been enjoying a little more sunshine and less of that cloud cover. But the winds have howled throughout this. Uh, throughout the day and you can see right now blowing out of the southwest at 15 miles per hour in Ironwood, 10 out of the southeast in Iron Mountain, 17 in Marquette and Munising. So that southerly flow is really helping those temperatures still be above average even going into the, into the nighttime hours. As we look at what's ahead going into the next couple of days, we're still going to have showers still throughout this evening. Most of them should begin to fade as we go sometime around midnight or right after midnight. Warm times are going to continue still going into your Thursday. We'll still see above average temperatures. Some areas could be even flirting with the 70 degree mark. But by Friday, with the next batch of rain, you'll see really big changes with those temperatures, especially on Friday and going into your Saturday. As we look at the main story going into your Thursday, high pressure right now that we saw a couple days ago is now to parts of New England. So it's really going to be nice for them. Well, further towards the south, though, and into the Ohio Valley, you'll see that warm southerly flow from the Atlantic and the Gulf just helping bring those temperatures all the way up into the 70s into lower Michigan and even parts of the upper, uh, upper peninsula as well. As we look towards the west, though, we do see a chance of thunderstorms into the parts of the northern portion of the lower peninsula of Michigan. For us, though, in the Mostly in the eastern sector, so east of Marquette going to St. Marie, we'll still have scattered showers going to your Thursday with some mostly cloudy skies just to the west in cities like Ironwood and Houghton. As we take a closer look at that future cast going into the tomorrow, you'll notice that the rain chances are going to begin to go down after midnight. We'll still have a overall partly cloudy skies as you wake up tomorrow. By the time we go into your Thursday afternoon, though, we'll still have a mixture of sun and clouds. Rain chances are going to be the best the further east you go. By the time we get into Thursday night into Friday, though, big changes once again. We reintroduced the rain, and you can even see on the backside, especially more into Minnesota, even the chances of snow. But for us, it's going to be rain, but it's going to be a chillier rain than the one you're going to see that you're just experiencing right now. As we go into your Saturday, though, and into late, your, late Friday as well, you'll notice more of a, those clouds beginning to thin out gradually. And on Sunday, that's really when the sun will make a more dominant feature throughout the region. For tonight, though, 53 degrees, showers before midnight, clearing late with those winds out of the southwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. As we take a closer look on your Thursday, the warmth will be here for the last day with thanks to those southerly winds at 5 miles per hour. You see temperatures are going to be flirting with a 70 degree mark the further south you go. Crystal Falls, Florence, Iron Mountain at 72, 67 in Ontonaga, and even Marquette will be flirting with that 70 degree mark at 69. So overall, very uniform. Enjoy the warmth if you are, especially since we're going to have mostly cloudy skies for tomorrow, but there could still be chances of some showers overall. For tomorrow, as we break it down through your day planner, 53 as you start out with partly cloudy skies to mostly cloudy. Same thing going into the afternoon at 69 degrees. Sunrise occurs at 7.56 a.m., but the rain chances really go up late in the day, going into the evening and into Friday morning, 80% chance at 53. So the rain gear will be needed waking up into your Friday. And you can see by Friday afternoon, 55 degrees for your high, while your morning low tonight will be 53. By the time we get into Saturday, your temperatures are going to struggle just to hit 50. And we'll have that clearing trend late Friday into Saturday. And the sun really breaks through on Sunday. And we see a, grad, a slow warming trend going into the early portion of next week. Those 20% chances of rain on Monday and Wednesday are because there's going to be some small disturbances moving through. So we could have some scattered showers. Uh, and even isolated showers throughout the region on Monday and Wednesday. But overall, conditions will improve but the temperatures are going to be noticeably cooler than they were this work week going into the next. So the main thing is big changes are coming starting on Friday.